the main job for now is pretty much done getting the engine out into the car but we thought we'd do like a rough walk around tour of the boat because a lot of people they don't understand the layout and they don't really have a good perspective of the boat and how big it is and everything so we'll just go through we'll walk around the outside first cool. if you don't know it's a catamaran from 1975 uh, built by a company called sailcraft they also built the iroquois apache and other native american tribal named catamarans uh, in like the 70s and 80s and this one is called the cherokee 35 yeah this one's a cherokee 35 should be a 35 but actually it's a 38 because it's got a little bit of extra on and it's also a catch as well uh, so it's got an extra mizzen sail on there it's very unique in that respect and also disclaimer everything's an absolute mess it's been chaotic over the last few days so we've not been tidying stuff up too well it's a rough tour it's a very rough tour oh someone else is using the dog to power them on a skateboard <laughs> all right come here deck Ooh. Can you see all this rubbish here? Very, very patchy deck. Loads of old epoxy repairs. So we're gonna paint the decks over the next like two months and it's gonna look absolutely beautiful. Yeah. We re-bedded the hatches down here. Nadiana did all the windows. Yeah, basically the whole deck needs sanding and we need to clean it and we need to just paint it with some non-slip basically. Yeah. We won't go into too much detail. All right, lots of nice walking space, loads of space for chilling in the sun, <laughs> loads of space for Yoshi to run around. <laughs> yeah. But it's rough and it needs a lot of work. So Things the cockpit, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's butyl tape covering up the hole where the bimini goes in. <laughs> so the cockpit is an absolute mess and that'll be the first thing that we paint outside. Yeah. Uh, I already sent it last year, but we didn't have time to paint it. Yeah, and it's a good job we didn't paint it because of lifting out the engine. Yeah, it's uh, true. Uh, in case you don't know as well, the engine is a single diesel engine with hydraulic drive. So you have a hydraulic pump to two hydraulic motors. So it has its benefits, but also its uh, opposite of benefits. Okay, so... <laughs> In and Yang. Hi. So the boat is separated into three main sections. You've got your port hull, you've got your middle bit, and you've got your starboard hull, right? Yeah. Three main bits. I'm not sure what the middle bit's called. Is it called a bridge deck? I don't know. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It doesn't matter. So uh, first of all, port hull, which is obviously to your port when you walk in into the galley area. Coming down into the port hull, you come down some steps, and then we can come into our bedroom <laughs> it's absolutely messy. So that's pretty much a double. It's more like a queen size. And yeah, so continuing down the porthole, okay, we have all our clothing, storage, random bits of storage, posters to cover up bad, bad woodwork. Bad, bad electronics. <laughs> There's, that's been like that for months and months now. <laughs> anyway, moving forward to the uh, wash area, the hand washing area. Look at that, you can wash your hands, you can brush your teeth. <laughs> and then we have the shower area where you can do a little shower. We shower we've had, I've had two showers. <laughs> Usually we shower in the sea or if we're in a marina in the marina. Facilities. And here we have the throne. Which <laughs> I've spent much time in. Messing with pipes. Also Human doing... pipes. Pardon? Messy with human pipes. Messy with human pipes. <laughs> uh, okay, and then if you come this is where the fuel tank was, to the left of the toilet. So that's where the huge fuel tank was, which we ripped out. That was a big job. A big job. But I'm glad we did it. Again. Yeah. <laughs> so we have done a, a little bit of work, a little bit of painting. Nadiana's going to be working on all this stuff next week. So we've already done like a fair bit of painting, but Nadiana's going to basically, in a very lateral way, start here, I think. And yeah. And wait, work your way. What's behind that? 
This is water tank in here. Yes. Big yeah, water. Big water tank. So walk oh. back out. <laughs> we are in a galley again. Yeah, this is our galley, which was all dark wood, but we did a lot of painting. We put we did all this stuff, and it is uh, a place where we spend a lot of time. And so it's it's pretty much done. It just needs tidying up in a few places. Bit you mean I spent a lot of time. <laughs> you spent a lot of time in here. I spent a lot of time just what just just <laughs> chilling on the sofa. Chilling on the sofa. No, editing on the sofa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd spend a lot of time on the computer there. But yeah, basically this is the uh, the galley. And moving forward to the seating area or party area. This is where we play poker. This is <laughs> where we play poker with electrical Welcome. components as chips. <laughs> this table was an absolute mess. It's a little bit... These, these chairs are really short, so quite uncomfortable. And yeah. This is where we spend a lot of time. Uh, I spend a lot of time editing here. We spend a lot of time chilling here. But it's a very nice place. We can uh, we have dinners here as well. Yeah, we've hosted a lot of people. That's the great thing about this boat. You can host friends. You can treat people who treat us because so many nice people help us out. So we like to pay them back by cooking for them and stuff. Mm. Anyway, there's two entrances to the right hull. So you've got one entrance here, but we'll take you back to the companion way. Follow Mark. So obviously you enter through here and then to the right is your starboard hull. Second entrance. You come down and then... Ooh, so dark. Yeah. This is... Guest bedroom. Mm. So dad is sleeping in there now. Nadiana's friend is coming tomorrow. Ooh, so excited. <laughs> so she's going to be staying in there. We've hosted other legends in there, such as Victor, <laughs> uh, who stayed in there for weeks uh, while he was helping us refit. So yeah, this is like the utility hall at the moment. Got ourselves our EPUB here. <laughs> the floor's a mess. Wet locker, whoops. Oops. That's your wet locker there. It's probably going to get a little bit dark. Tools there. Nice. And terrible, 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 terrible woodwork here. Forget that. Not that terrible. <laughs> it's from our last owner. Uh, yeah. I no, think no, no, it's no, a no, good no, job. No, no. I also contributed some terrible woodwork. Oh, there. yeah, it's true. Anyway, basically <laughs> here you've got a berth. AKA the napping spot, which I don't think we ever took a nap in. <laughs> that is used for storage at the moment while we're sorting everything out. And also you have two bunks here, which would be great for some kids. <laughs> we're not having kids anytime soon. Uh, two bunks, one. Here is our kid, yeah. our 42 years old kid. <laughs> we have kids, haven't we? We've got one kid. Got a handful. And also where Yoshi was sat, that's where our other entrance to this hall is. So yeah, mm. basically loads of storage here. And of course that's where the fuel tank was. In that side, the toilet's that way. Do you want to have a show? Yeah. That's where the other water tank is. And that's where the old fuel tank was. So, yeah. So yeah, you've got your two bunks there. One, two. And turning back. We my have. Again. <laughs> okay. So that is it for this little cheeky tour. We hope you enjoyed it. So over the next few weeks and the next few episodes, you're going to see a lot of progress, a lot of tidying up this because there's so many little bits and bobs which are just terrible. Wires hanging out, almost dangerous. Uh, one thing as well, all the wires in this starboard bedroom, they're an absolute mess. My electrical wiring, it's terrible, it's terrible. But um, stay tuned, yeah, in the next few episodes you're gonna see big, big progress and this catamaran's gonna be basically shining, shining like a shining star, back to her former glory. Now a message from our mascots. So if you look here, we have our mascots. 
our boat mascots. Every boat has mascots. This is Yoshi. It's my Christmas gift from Mark. <laughs> Yoshi driving his car. <laughs> but also, we would like to show you this as well, which was made by our friend Craig Garrard. And this is our last boat. Good tidings. Wow. It's really to the detail. Yeah, it's inside a bottle. Solar panel, the sail. So if you want to see other boats, or potentially get your boat made into a bottle, check out Sailing Yacht Abina on Instagram. But yeah, how fantastic is that? Thank you. So, good tidings stays there as a memory.